So today I'm going to be going over a topic that some of my viewers voted for in my community tab on my YouTube channel. And that was talking about the limits of the Canon R6 when it comes to the ISO. So recently I shot a basketball game and I wanted to test out the full capabilities or at least push it to its um, limits when it comes to the high ISO on the Canon R6. This season of basketball is a perfect time to test it out because gyms vary in light. I'm typically having to push the ISO a little higher than I would really want to. So when I was shooting a game just yesterday, I thought on the second camera, I'm gonna put it a little higher than I would really want to and really just push it to the max of what the Canon R6 offers in the ISO range for photo. So typically the highest I would really, really like to go is 6,400 and that is still pretty high, but I feel like the Canon R6 handles it pretty well. So I bumped it up to 12,800, which is something I have used in the past many a times with my Nikon D3S years ago for football um, because I was thinking I've got to be at one 1,000th of a second. When in reality, you could go a little slower and you might get a little bit of blur in the hands or maybe the feet, but you're still gonna be able to stop the action. So in basketball, I bumped it up to 12,800 yesterday. Then I jumped it up to 25,600 and then 51,200. Um, that's pretty crazy already. And maxed out on the Canon R6 is 102,400. Um, I definitely would not be pushing it to these for any paid gigs. Um, I did this after I knew I had my photos for the paid publication that I was shooting for. I just took some quick snaps just to see what the ISO would look like. And so with that said, I'm gonna be sharing those with you and here they are. Now, pushing the ISO high like I did in these shots, I definitely would not suggest. I'm not really sure where a good time would be to use this high of ISO settings in any camera, um, unless you're just doing it to capture something for yourself. Um, I'm not really sure what the quality would be um, if you went to print them, but I'm just gonna say with these images that I showed you, they are straight out of camera. I just dropped them into, um, into Lightroom just so I can export them um, for the video because they're raw so I couldn't drop them into the, um, the timeline for the video. So I just wanted to show you straight out of the camera what the images look like. Um, you could definitely probably do a little bit of noise reduction. There are third party noise reduction apps, um, programs that you could try and make these usable images. It might also be a little hard to see how the grain really looks on video. I'm not sure if the compression of YouTube is gonna make it worse or make it look better than it really is. Um, but if you really had to, and it was just for personal use, you could definitely push it to these ISOs to capture something, um, whatever that may be, uh, I'm not sure. But I hope this helps all of you understand the capabilities of the R6. I've normally pushed it to 6400 and I'm comfortable with sharing those images or printing the images. I've printed many uh, 6400 ISO images and they look perfectly fine with the slightest amount of noise reduction. But with that said, I'd hope you uh, like this video. Appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you thought and if you've had any experience with using high ISO and when you used it. And I will see you all next time.